Several organizations are coming together to bring awareness to the opioid crisis in the Low Country. News 2's Delilah James spoke with local organizations and advocates about what they are doing to help people in need. This week is National Overdose Awareness Week, and many organizations across the Low Country, like Wake Up Carolina, are coming together in hopes of educating the community to prevent more tragedies from happening. A somber but important week across the country. This is a time that we get together to, you know, honor those that we have lost to this um, opioid epidemic, this crisis. And we honor those that have been lost and we try to bring um, awareness to it so that we can provide resources and tools so that we don't lose anybody else. According to the National Center for Drug Abuse Statistics, over 70,000 drug overdose deaths occur in the United States every year, including right here in the Low Country. North Charleston has responded to over um, 200 incidents of overdose in the first six months of the year. Um, about 20 of those were fatal, um, but Narcan was administered in, in so, so many of them. And that helps preserve a life so that that person can make a decision later on. Nancy Stedman Shipman lost her teen son Creighton to an overdose back in 2016. Since Creighton's death, Shipman has dedicated her life to helping others avoid the same tragedy. It's just one way she's honoring her own son's memory. The life they lived, the beauty, the charm, the humor, the things that made us laugh, we honor them. Their lives meant something and mean something. Not only to those that'll be at the night, but also every single day. Tomorrow, the town of Mount Pleasant will host its Light the Way for Hope event at the town hall beginning at 7 p.m. Reporting in Mount Pleasant, I'm Delilah James, Count on